Catalan capital and one of the world's great cities, Barcelona. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfield player, Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Barcelona up against Monaco. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, are well drilled defensively and are a threat on the counter-attack. If the hosts don't go through, though, it will be a major upset. Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark and Breta Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Well, in this 5-3-2, the three central midfield players will need to work hard today. They've got to make forward runs, cover the wide areas, and be the creative spark. They'll be key today. And this confrontation is underway. Fofana in possession Folland defence of Brazilians to shut them down and Barcelona showing good weight here a chance to whip it in well played in from the flank but not to any great effect into the box. Was it a great clearance? You can't really discuss impact players without discussing Robert Lewandowski. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. It's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. A real opening now. And there we go. It is the ideal opening. As you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. And back underway. 1-0 it is. time tackle De Jong he's in behind oh stellar defensive work to get back and win possession
and continues his run. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. Wow, what a stop that was. Good work from Monaco to win it back. Not giving them time to breathe. That's great pressing. Showing ambition. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. to dispossess your opponent and Barcelona being afforded too much space oh left of man behind here and a long way out well it might still work out for them and the keeper has it after that tension laden sequence well what a great first save that was how did he stop that Can someone get on the end of it? No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1 1. Kunde. Oriol from AU. Lewandowski. Did well to win the ball back. That's a good pass. Could be dangerous. Can they get themselves in front here? Teammate available. That is how to keep it out of the net. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, it hasn't been a story of Pedri at his brilliant best for whatever reason, Stuart. Yeah, he's looked off the pace today. He just hasn't been himself, has he? And as a result, the team have looked short on creativity. It's been a disappointing performance. So back underway here, into the second half. Good tackle. Camara. In possession, Folland. Good work from Barcelona to win it back. Tavisu. Fofana. Very quick thinking there. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. 
Well, just a bit too much on the pass. It'll be a goalkeeper at fault. Hedgeny. And the counter looks on here. Options available. about it. Well, Barcelona are playing well. They're creating lots of chances and they do look a constant threat, but they now need to make it count. And now they need to put in the effort to win the ball back. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Barca now gets a sector of the pitch devoid of defenders. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. And the play stops. They will make the change now. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic. Fofana. Alexander Canavin has it. An effective challenge. And in with a real chance. And drawing it back. It's got to be. Piece of defending. Great opportunity. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position, but really sticking to the task defensively. Hedri. Well, full marks for getting past him. Good defending at the end, and danger averted for now. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's failed under pressure. Well, chances don't come much better than that, do they, Derek? That might be their last shot to win this game. of the uh, substitute bench. <laughs> Kevin Forant. Garavine. Regain possession. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Oh, managing to beat him. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer, and that could be oh so important. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with such a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that.
But it just seems of this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserves to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.